hello and welcome to my channel today i'll be replacing the fan on my hp 15 bs something 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 uh, the full name will be in the uh, intro of the video so here's the laptop and when you turn it on all right we have a hp battery alert that's i can replace pretty easily without need to make a video about it enter and then this error the system has detected a cooling fan error oh it blacked out yeah it did black out all right we're restarting it now hp battery alert system has detected a cooling fan is not operating properly Blah blah blah, continued operation is not recommended and may cause unpredictable behavior that could result in a random shutdown or loss of data. Yeah, so we're gonna replace the fan. Alright, so we're gonna be replacing the fan. The fan I got off of eBay, but you could also get your fan off of Amazon. And here's the cooling fan. When you're ordering the fan for your laptop, Ensure that you type in the full name of your particular laptop and type cooling fan and then most of the time These laptops they have a different range that this as a particular fan can work for so ensure you always type in the name of your particular laptop and Then type cooling fan and ensure that the fan is compatible with your particular laptop Before we install the fan to the laptop. We first have to disassemble it to disassemble the HP 15, first we disconnect the power, then we remove the battery. Right. Then we turn it over and push the power button to clear to ensure that there's no power in the system. And we turn it back over and begin to remove screws. This laptop has one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, two screws here, and we also have screws under the rubber feet. All right, now to remove the screws under the rubber feet, Let's see, I believe this, the screws are in here. Yes. The screws will be towards the front of the laptop under the rubber feet. And remember when you are removing the screws from under the rubber feet, only take, only open up as much as you need to remove the screws. You don't want to remove the entire rubber foot, the rubber feet because you would strip the glue and it would be a pain to have your uh, rubber feet sliding all over the place. Uh, now to open the laptop. We open it and to get to the, to open it, we put something plastic through the seams around the perimeter here. Um, I'm using a plastic spudger that is specifically made for this purpose, but you guys could use like a credit card or some sort of stiff piece of plastic. You don't want to use um, like a screwdriver because I did that before and I messed it up a little bit. A screwdriver could work, but you would end up bending the plastic of your, of your laptop and you don't want to do that. So that's why I would recommend using a plastic spudger or a card of some sort, a stiff card. Alright, I'm going to close it back, flip it on the other side and Oh, shoot, this CD drive should have come out a long time ago. Oop. 
Let me slowly. Ta da! And now we're open. Alright, let's turn this light down. Ah, let's turn it off. Because we are shining bright like a diamond over there. Even though diamonds don't shine, they reflect light. Alright, and here is the component we want to replace. Uh, before we do anything, let's look at that particular component. And we also look at the orientation of the component, whether it's like up or down. This is pretty much how it is. And let's see the connector is right here. All right, so to remove the fan, you would undo the screws if there are any screws that were done in the first place. Apparently, my particular fan, my CPU did not have a screw right here. So this is loose. Um, can I just lift it up? Nope. It seems that the connector up here is screwed down. So you just carefully remove the wires from here to get access to that screw. Alright, and ta-da! The fan is loose. Now we carefully slide this connector out of here. And there we go. The fan is removed now while i have this removed i might as well clean out the dust from in here and then i'll get into installing this new fan okay so i have cleaned out the dust from inside here of course i could have used my screwdriver to remove the entire heat sink and run some water through it but I decided, no, I don't want to do that. If I do that, I would have to replace the thermal compound um, between the heatsink and the CPU. And I would also have to wait on this to dry. So I just decided to run the vacuum cleaner hose to suck out the dust from in here. All right, so now that's done, let's install the CPU fan. This is the new CPU fan. Boom, installed. Thank you for watching my video. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, where is the screw? Alright, so we have our CPU fan placed in here. First things first, I would like to plug it in. So let's get that done now. Alright, CPU fan connector cable has been installed. Ensure that you install it correctly and the correct way to install it is your red wire will be towards your copper heatsink. Alright, so now I would install my screw for the CPU fan if I could find that but I can't which is hilarious because I have a magnetic spark tray and I did not use it to store my screw so yeah that's a bit worrying but anyway the CPU fan is installed now let me fix back these wires for my power button all right, my wires have been set. Let's zoom out and then reinstall the back panel for our HP 15. All right, we're zoomed out. Now let's reinstall our chassis.
All right, now our chassis has been reinstalled. For some strange reason, we have some screws left over. Um, we always have screws left over. Every time we disassemble and reassemble this laptop, we always have screws left over. Anyway, hopefully it's nothing important. I know the screws we have left over is not for the CPU fan because I tested that. So, I don't know what's happening. Anyway, let's reinstall our battery which we also have to replace. But there's no need to do a video on that. Let's turn it around. Oh, this table is, this table is dirty. All right, plug in our power because our battery holds zero charge. All right, let's reframe the shot. Open the lid and, re and turn on the laptop. All right, we have opened the lid and that's the laptop screen and that's me in the reflection of the screen. What up? All right, let's, let's turn on. Battery alert. Well, that's, we all know that my battery has to be changed. And then we're booting into Windows normally. So the system has detected that the fan is now working correctly because we have replaced the fan and everything is good except for the battery that needs to be changed. All right, that's it for my video. How to re how to install a CPU fan into the HP 15 laptop. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.